Hi everyone, Adam here with Advanced Infrastructure Technologies, your source for advanced underground locating equipment, such as radio detection and sensors and software GPR. Today, we're going to be walking you through the process of doing a blind sweep before excavation. It's a four-step process, and we ask you to come along and join us. Step one of the process is to go over any documents available to you, such as maps, diagrams, or as-builts. Secondly, you want to visually inspect the area for any signs of underground utilities, such as pedestals, manhole covers, valve boxes, light poles, meters, etc. And even survey for any markouts that may have been done prior. Let's go have a look. Step two in our blind sweep procedure would be to locate any known utilities in the normal locating procedure using direct connect, an induction clamp, or induction. Consider using the reverse induction method as well. In this case, you will take the receiver, put it on high gain, and point it towards the known utility. Then grab the transmitter and sweep the area, holding the transmitter one foot from the ground. If the transmitter goes over a known utility, then the receiver will light up. Mark the area accordingly. Step three is to use the passive frequencies on the locator to locate anything else in the area that we may not be aware of. The RD8100 has passive power, radio, power and radio combined, cathodic protection, and cable TV. The passive power frequency looks for the 60 Hz signature of active power lines. This signal from the power lines will also bleed onto other metal pipes in the area. The attenuation of this signal to the other metal lines will allow you to use the power function to locate the lines passively. When you are doing the passive sweep, you want to make sure that you are setting up a grid pattern. Keep the blade of the receiver pointed down, hold the receiver in normal position as you walk out the grid. When you see a steady rise and fall in the peak bar, you can mark that utility at the highest point. After you walk the grid in your area with passive power, do the same with radio and cathodic protection passive frequencies as well. Now that you've completed your grid scan and all your passive frequencies, connect the dots. Our final step is a two-person induction sweep. As the name implies, we need two people to do this procedure. If you only have one yourself, then you're done. If you can use another person, have that person hold the transmitter. The transmitter should be placed on 65 kilohertz and 100% power. Two people stand at least 50 feet apart. One person will hold the transmitter one foot high off the ground and the other will hold the receiver at high gain. Then the two people will walk in tandem in the grid pattern. If you have a steady rise and fall of a signal, set the transmitter on the ground. Reduce the sensitivity of the receiver and trace the line through your target area. Mark the utilities. After you trace out your line, be sure to complete this procedure in all grid directions. If you follow these blind sweep procedures, you'll be able to locate any metallic utility in the area. We may not be able to tell exactly how deep they are or what it is, but you'll be able to mark them out and let the excavator know that they're there. If you've enjoyed our videos, please like and subscribe below. We'll be continually putting out new videos over time. And if you have any questions or want more information, please feel free to visit our website or reach out to us in person.